Oh, my mic's being Zoe. Hello, everyone. That was kind of weird. My mic didn't respond until a couple seconds after I had spoken. What is everyone? Good afternoon. Oh, I'm going to say hello to everyone. Mm. First and foremost. Hello to JD. Hello to Red Blue Fire. Hello to Burwolf. Hello to Nebula. Thank you for the resub. Hello, Renee. Hello, Grilson. Hello, Neo Zero. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Hello, Greenlows. Hello, Mire. Um, hello, Roto. Thank you for resubscribing as well. Hello, no credit clear. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Panis. Um, hello, RPG. Hello, Hazuki. Hello, Taco King. Hello, Chaotic Claw. I hope that everyone is having a lovely day, and if you're not, you know, I hope I can fix that. The usual, right? <laughs> Today we are going to be playing Bucky O'Hare for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is a game I have a big soft spot for, even though it is widely considered to be an egregiously hard game. I've told this story before, but I once asked Bit Brigade if they would please do Bucky O'Hare once, even just once. Hello, Bogums. And they told me that the game was just too hard for them to do. No critic what a shame. I definitely... I definitely think about that. Like, that day is going to come, right? That day is definitely going to come someday. <laughs> well, Bucky O'Hare is a game about a green bunny named Bucky O'Hare. Wow, I'm acting so goofy today. Um, but seriously, it's based on a cartoon that is based on a comic. Basically, it is about Bucky O'Hare, a space captain who pilots, you know, well, not pilots, but he's the captain of the Righteous Indignation, a spaceship, and, you know, his enemy is the Toad Empire, who take over all of the animal worlds in the Aniverse. And one of his crew members is just a normal human boy from Earth, who, uh, created a science door that allows him to travel between our universe and the Annie universe, the Anniverse. <laughs> Seriously, this kid created a door with science to travel between the two dimensions. Isn't that... Isn't that something? Yeah, the Righteous Indignation is pretty good, Mookie, but how about that other ship, the Indefatigable? My tongue tripped just trying to say it. But that's one of the other ships from the cartoon. So... Before, before we begin, I just want to show you guys something. Don't know how much I'll be using it, but you deserve to see it. Just a sec. For Christmas, I was given something. Also, maybe not, but the fact is that um, that's how they liked to say it in the in the cartoon, basically. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, that's odd. Why is this transition set wrong? Let me just fix that first.
So anyway. Gal. Or something. One of, one of our, one of the people who's done emote art for the channel gifted me this. The tail, the twin tails are very wobbly, aren't they? Very wiggly. So I never asked for a new model or anything, but I was just randomly gifted this. The colors are something. <laughs> this is... Did I do something with my bow tie? Thank you for the follow. BRB <laughs> kid in oven. I see. <laughs> so, this model is apparently called Cosmic Cat Girl Sarah Lenny. <laughs> So maybe this is a space alien version of me or something. <laughs> I don't know, but this is this is a new model that's been added to my wardrobe. I might use it for a little bit today. I don't think I'll use it for the whole stream. Anyway, video games, am I right? Let's play this game that has a high reputation for being extremely hard. But, but I've played it a lot, so it's not as hard. I'm still going to struggle. Oops. <laughs> that was the Mr. Mindy. There's no sound. That's that's not good. Oh, there's sound for you guys, so it's fine. Let me just fix. I can hear it now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it loud. Just a second, just a second. Right, okay. Yeah, and I am messing up a bunch today. Thank you, Omega. Everything must be. So, Bucky O'Hare and his crew, Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, and Willy, fight to save the universe from the Toad Menace. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to the righteous indignation was attacked. Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. His name is Willie DeWitt. You know, like, do it, but it's DeWitt. Blinky is a captive on the green planet. Deadeye is sent to the red planet. The game's quiet, but... It looks like it should be pretty good. Jenny is held at the blue planet. Does this model have expressions? I never checked. Oh good, they're all there. Lucky O'Hare, your friends are mine! You're next! Lucky escaped the Toad Armada by a hair's whisker. Now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible toads. 
you can do the planets in technically any order, except you must do the green planet before the blue planet, basically. I'm better! You seem to be stuttering a little. The rest of the stream seems okay, but my model's kind of fussy. Let me... I noticed that my CPU usage was a little weird. Man, today just has to be scuffed, huh? Still stuttering, what the heck? Why is my model doing that? Seems like it's OBS specifically being fussy. That's odd. I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Particle effects? But where? <laughs> I don't see any particle effects. Pause me. Help, the game is stuttering too. Might just be my projector, because it. Does it, does it. No, it definitely looks that way in the stream. What is this doing? It's looking stuttering. I'm sorry, guys, I gotta figure this out. This is pretty dire. Let's see if the game is still acting like this after I turned off my model. Yep, still stuttering. How about that? I'm going to check a couple things. Yeah, the thing is, it's also doing that for my actual gameplay, but not on the TV, of course. On the TV, it looks just fine. OBS was the issue here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my model back up, which apparently is going to take a moment. I really don't have many layers in the scene at all. I keep them optimized because I know that that can be an issue. Let's see, it stutters here too. And is something just wrong with my graphics right now or something? Let me, let me just start closing stuff. I'm just going to start closing programs until something seems to fix it.
which is probably a terrible idea, but what else can they do at a moment like this, right? Besides rebooting? And I always wonder why Edge needs a bunch of processes even when it's not running. I wonder if that did it. It was happening even with the model disabled, though. <laughs> like, even with the program closed. No, it's still stuttering. That's bad. This is the kind of thing that testing doesn't just catch. At this point, I've closed almost everything on my computer except OBS. It's looking very much like I may not have a choice but to reboot. Let me close my stream deck. Don't want to, but... I'm noticing it a little, even with everything but OBS closed. I don't think there was. <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna have to reboot. I don't see any other choice. So, PC's back up. Let me get everything else back up. Yeah, here's hoping. I wish everything could just work. <laughs> I may be a technically minded person, but that doesn't mean I like technical issues, you know? Okay, now where's the mister? There's the mister. Ah. 
Because the thing is, there are there are coins scattered around all of the stages, as well as hearts. Each of your characters has individual life and power for their power meter. They all have different powers, and most of them are kind of important. One of the most important things about this game is just to be brave and go forth. Now, you can't revisit stages as far as I remember. So this game, of course, as I've mentioned, has a reputation for being extremely hard. I don't think it is that hard. It is a difficult game, but there's definitely way harder out there. The trick is just don't be reckless. Well, there's definitely a point past which you can't revisit stages. got ahead of myself. Ah. Okay. Getting that power coin would cost me a life. Oh well. It's power. Having said that, there is something... Yeah, you can get that coin if you have another character. Specifically Blinky. Or there is another way, I think, but... Having Blinky is... One way. I think you're supposed to write a log or something, though. Aikia is such a hard game. Yeah, it's the log, I guess. Oh. Just barely too short. I didn't even need that. They're just score. They are not actually useful. <laughs> But the score does get you extra lives. Granted, you can also skip a bunch, but thank you for the follow by going that way. Thank you. <laughs> the log comes eventually. But... <laughs> okay, I deserved that. I really love this game's music. Hey, I'm not a bunny.
<laughs> I'm not a bunny, I'm just pointy. Thank you for resubscribing, Mass. Happy New Year. Oh gosh, I can't see because of the follow notification. I mean, not follow, subscribe, you know what I mean. The bowling. Oh crap, I jumped too late. <laughs> you see I'm playing off of a projector right now. <laughs> I'm still planning on streaming with the classic model most of the time. Yeah, like I'm I'm playing off of a preview window basically. Yeah, the game has a reputation for being very hard, but it actually isn't, per se, because most of it's about patience. The boss fights are excruciatingly tough sometimes, though. In OBS. Thank you for resubscribing me. So, in OBS, there are two kinds of projectors you can use. One of them is full screen projector, which is often useful. The other is windowed projector, which I am using right now. Basically, it just displays the stream as it's going to Twitch in the window or full screen. I'm doing this because like I'm capturing my capture card directly in OBS at the moment, which I don't normally do. But with the with the mister, you know, like I would be kind of wasting the fact that I'm using a mister if I weren't using all of its strengths. And so I need my latency to be low. It also just turned out to be the most convenient way because, like, I don't have to do anything goofy to get the right cropping. I just had to crop it myself in OBS. Okay, so Bucky's pretty powered up now. You need to find a way to repair your mister? What happened to it? So it sounds pretty good today. I feel like the game might be kind of high compared to my usual audio. Not sure though. Ah! are stuttering again. No, no. This seems to be the screen. Getting hit while trying to do that interrupts it, so you can see the result of that. Okay, this boss. He's going to throw the rock, then he's going to run around. told that the hair was hand-drawn with colored pencils. And yeah, the rock is a one-hit kill. As you guys may have noticed just now. Oh, five. 
This game, I feel, is underappreciated. Like, it's not that people don't like it, but it's often considered to just be too darn hard. As I understand it, it was made by somebody who would go on to be part of Treasure. Kind of explains a lot. Is looking red. Proto, can you take a look? Thank you, Captain. I've rescued a toad weapon that will smash walls of ice and stone. It also acts as a rocket pack, Captain O'Hare, allowing you to fly. Now that's a lie. Only you can use it, Blinky. Realistically, they probably want you to do the blue planet after that. I think so, but... I like to do the red planet next. Oh, you know, by rescuing your crewmates, you take all of the life out of the planet and turn it gray. That's how it works. I don't make the rules. you guys enjoy my remix of this song earlier? It's 10 years old. <laughs> I really gotta do something better. Connection is acting really sketchy. Like, I'm not to the point of dropping any frames, but... I don't need that blinking like that. Yeah, I can see how you would think that. A lot of Konami's music for the NES sounded very interesting. It's just a hobby. My sister. Layla, however, has done it professionally. I really look up to her. Sorry, just checking something. Okay, so, push this. How are you doing, Sokka? Dark Shadow Rage, Happy New Year. I hope my 2023 is full of streams so I can see you guys a lot. As you can see, as long as you are very patient, you can blow most of the game wide open. However, the trickiest parts are coming up. The command lava.
to the bits, chat. Well, Canary, I hope it gets better soon. Activate the volcanic defense system to shield the base with my lava magma. Okay. I messed up again. This part is really specific. Gaming's going well, I think. And if you're wondering why I'm wiggling around so much, it's mostly to check for stuttering because I was having an issue before I rebooted. Oh, I did it again. Yeah, I have this part, like, mostly just muscle memory, you know? There we go. The part with the rolling rock is way harder. Oh no, I meant to get that as Blinky. As ever, you just have to be patient through this stage. Oh boy. Almost out of life. He shot a moment too soon, compared to me. This part seems really threatening until you take it slow, doesn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Ben Cuts played this cool. I always knew Spin Cut had taste. Okay, these things happen. Yeah, this might be my favorite NES game. Like, I'm honestly pretty sure it is. Even so, I understand why a lot of people don't like it so much. Including Dot Level, who did not seem to enjoy this at all when she played it. I mean, my favorite Konami game is poppin' music, but I wouldn't really count that. No. 
And I really should have gotten that extra power for Blinky earlier. We'll have plenty of chances to get everyone to maximum power, but it does, it does tend to be a little rough. I just kind of had to take the hit there. Not a lot to be done for it, you know? Wouldn't it have been so cool if that had worked? Okay, this part I don't like. Ow. I'll allow it, Ashley. I'll allow it. Oh, I know how to do this part properly now. Oh well. You're supposed to shoot before you get off the rock. Oh crap, I didn't charge it enough. It's not worth it. You know, I missed a great chance to make a new year, new me kind of joke. Like that. That's not so hard. Anyway, I probably shouldn't bother with the one up. Oh boy, here we go. This whole part is a thing. charging for. Oh, for that. Okay, the boss fight is pretty tough here. Especially if you only have Bucky and Blinky. Precise shots to the middle are the best thing to do with Bucky here. You won't take too much damage if you just get hit by that and not by any of the more serious attacks. Plus, if you get crushed, you die. I feel like this is basically the best strategy for handling this boss. You can get him before he rolls. Cool, right? Did I? Here's a toad blaster, which I just lifted from a toad arsenal. There's no problems up and around in this toad rocket pack. Zoomed right over the toad walls. And now it's time for mine cards and spaceships. This this level is wild. It has so much stuff going on. Yeah. 
Hey, put that out. Yeah, Red Planet isn't that hard. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe I'm just a strong gamer. I don't get to show it off very often. But I feel like Red Planet is mostly a matter of patience and precision. And then I guess that's most of the game. Deadeye has a spread shot. His power is basically just another jump, but it can cling to walls. It's otherwise a little smaller than Bucky's jump. Also, look at that highly misscaled ship. Those ships are way bigger than Bucky is. But for some reason, there's these tiny ones in this stage. They are completely not to scale. Uh, yes, that's correct, Green Mouse. Isn't that great? I mean, Canary, I could buy that, except it can hit you by touch. Objects in the universe may be closer than they appear. That's right. Man, my man just keeps respawning, huh? Anyway, I can't get that one up. Not like this. I don't need that life, but it's a full heal. That power would be really nice, and I can reach it. I want Blinky to have that. Oh, wait. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Dead Eye's shots are also, I think, slightly stronger than Bucky's, but I'm not entirely certain anymore. Oh, this part's wild. Welcome to the worst parts of space. <laughs> I got the power, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now this part you have to climb, which isn't that hard, but watch out for the asteroids. Have I mentioned I love this game? Base Frogger? You're not wrong. Now on this part, you can ride the asteroids. They don't hurt you. But that does. Quick for a speed run is to let this one lift you off. By positioning yourself just so. Actually, I think their position may be relative to you. But basically, you need to get on one of them that's going up and to the left. You charge up Blinky, and you use the rocket pack to get across. There's other ways, though. There might even be faster ways, but in my opinion, that's the way to go. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. But see what I mean? This stage kind of has everything, right? The sheer amount of capital S stuff in this stage is just crazy. I don't 
don't think that this is a late NES title. I guess it was, huh? I just have such early memories of playing this, but then again... for the edge. As you guys can see, Blinky's diagonal shot is useful more often than you think. Darn, I was trying to switch to Deadeye real quick. Oh well. You'll get full power soon. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where the fun begins. No! I was scratching my nose. Ah. As a kid, I absolutely hated this part. Nowadays, I unironically really like this part. Of course, I was a really impatient and hot-headed kid. That's the thing, right? Like, of course I wouldn't have liked it. accidentally messed up there. Wait, what? What I mean is my control inputs, I messed them up. Like I was holding left for some reason? I don't know why. This controller is sticky. Who used this controller last? Was it Maroonie? Actually using the keyboard. That part is a little tricky because you have to jump onto the next one and then immediately back. Oops. That one was my brain just deciding that it was time for jumpies. Yeah, see, I'm a keyboard gamer. And I realize how absurd that might sound to you guys, especially as you're watching me do all of this on a keyboard. But it's just how I've been for a long time. I've always done better on keyboard. I'm not a big fan of D-pads, although if I had to use one, I would use the Xbox Series controller. That weird dish-shaped thing 
For a long time, I was appalled at the idea of ever using it, and I actually tried one, and oh my god, it's so good! this boss. This boss has a bunch of destructible parts. Like a lot of the other boss fights, one of the biggest keys is to just be a bit brave. Anything that can't instantly kill you is pretty much worth dismissing. You gotta destroy the parts of the boss. Right, that's also an instant kill. Oops. You can get away with hitting multiple parts if you use Deadeye, but Bucky is just stronger, so I'm not sure if that's really the tactic. You can hit him like this, though, which is good. Because it's a lot safer. The thing is, Deadeye's shots are way weaker. Like, you wouldn't think about it much. But they are. They look stronger because they, they're like these big beads, right? Compared to Bucky's. But they're just really weak. Like, Deadeye is bad. So I generally prefer to use Bucky for pretty much everything. Sometimes Jenny, because her ability is stronger than it looks, her, her charged special ability. It would be very good for this boss, but I don't have her. Realistically, by doing this order in general, I kind of made things harder on myself, but I'm okay with that. That's right. He dot he words. He charges again and then immediately. You gotta remember that. As much as I know about this game, there's still a bunch of stuff I don't have perfectly memorized. Okay. Almost. I mean, gun should almost be dead. Ah. Okay, let's try something else. This is never going to work. That I just can't do enough damage in time.
Funny enough, a big part of me feels like this boss fight may have been designed with the idea that you'd have Lily in the group, even though it's the stage where you get Lily. Like, there's a bunch of things about this boss that feel like they were made for Lily. In terms of how much health it has, especially with its parts. Because Lily has a charge shot, and it can be pretty powerful. Otherwise, you just, you know, you're just chipping away slowly. You can, you know? Man, I'm unintelligible today. Yeah, I can't even jump because of this thing. I like Willy, but the thing is that the way the charging abilities are made in the first place it feels, like, contrary to normal playstyle to have to charge your shot, right? like this, I should only get hit a little, relatively speaking. Okay. There we go. A bit more. You can't do much anymore, but it's still dangerous at that point because the taxi still has her instant kills, you know? That was pure skill! Thank you, Mimi. Thanks, Bucky. While I was held captive, I kept putting together a new weapon. Mm, well done, I guess. It's my one-shot does-it-all blaster. You can call it Thumber. Okay, but why would I call it Thumber? What part of that had anything to do with Thumber? If you press the fire button longer, it just gets stronger. Seven X. Okay. Oops. There's ice physics here. The ice physics in this are especially odd. Because it's less like ice physics, and more like your controls take a couple of moments to release. Like, if you look at that, like what I'm doing there, you can see it, right? Yeah, it's some of the worst ice physics I ever encountered. <laughs> Not gonna lie. By the way, because that spot there is there, you cannot proceed- well, and this spot here. You cannot proceed without Blinky. Which is funny, because you could still choose this planet first. Yeah, that's basically what they're doing, Grilson. Like, when, I, when I'm doing this here, I'm jumping and then pressing left, like, once immediately at the top of my jump, and it's still making me walk left. Yeah, 
Yeah, you see that? It is the weirdest thing. I love this game, but that's always been one part that I was very confused by. And it wasn't until, like, the last time I played that I realized exactly how it worked. It doesn't make more sense. It does not make more sense. specific spot is particularly bad, just in general. Getting out of this at this point is basically pixel perfect. That should do it. No, it didn't do it. That one position I had was really good. Can I duck climb out of there? Oh, that's right. See, that's my crippling flaw with this game. I have not used Deadeye very well. Hello, Professor. How are you doing? Plus, I often come here without Deadeye. Like, I've done the stages in pretty much every order. Although this is probably my favorite order, even though I like, uh, using Jenny. Like I said, Jenny is extremely good for the Yellow Planet boss. Wait a moment. I'm not gonna be able to grab onto the ball like that, am I? Oh, yeah I am. Maybe. Ah. Yeah, Blinky. <laughs> this exact spot is probably good. This screen, man. This screen. <laughs> isn't, isn't this funny? It's just like, no, you die. Yeah, Blue Planet is probably the worst level in the game, particularly because of its pseudo-ice physics. And I cannot call them ice physics, because all it does is make your controls laggy. Switch to Bucky. There we go. This is the thing though, it's not laggy ice physics, it's just laggy normal physics. Like the physics are unaltered, but for some reason your controls lag. Why did I do that? This stage in particular is very mean. Like, as you can see, it kills you immediately on this screen. Which I think is funny. Mm, but funny. Okay, I already messed up. But it's okay, because it's probably easier that way. I feel like it's best to use Blinky for this part. Because Blinky has the diagonal downward shot and all, 
You can also use dead eye, but as I mentioned earlier, dead eye shots are a lot weaker than they look. Blinky shots are very strong. Uh oh. Also, using Blinky gets you the best control you can manage in this. Mind you, Lily's shots are decently strong too, especially when charged up, but when not charged, they're about the same as Bucky's, I think. probably be tempted to use Deadeye in this part, and it's fine too. These things only take one hit from anything. Just pay careful attention to the physics, because, you know, they're still in effect. Now this part gets silly. Take it easy, Ashley, and thank you for having been here. How this part even works. Oh, right. Yeah, like that. Oh, crap. much gonna get hit here no matter what you do, but don't walk left because the spikes kill you. That kind of situation. Anybody ever play the Captain Planet game for Nintendo Interface System? I seem to remember that game being dreadful. It's Mario pipes, except they want to kill us. And look, it's Gemini Man's stage. And the controls make this so tricky. Yeah, you do lose the health upgrades whenever you continue. It's pretty harsh in that regard. Basically, everything in the game is designed to be doable with the least amount of health you can have, so it's okay. Unless... I forgot to mention the anti-piracy feature. This game has an anti-piracy feature. Do you guys know what the anti-piracy feature does? That's right, it makes everything in the game an instant kill. 
and they left this in as a feature. If you enter the password to have hard mode. Hard mode is just the anti-piracy feature where you die in one hit. I kind of suspect that that's part of why it has a reputation for being so hard. So, you guys want to know what this guy's name is? It's Al Negator. Hi, Captain. You can croak all the toads with my beam blaster and tur toad turbo ball. Okay, but why is it a toad turbo turbo ball? Bucky brought his brave crew together again. Yes, there are, Professor. Oh no! It's a trick which the toad set to capture Bucky O'Hare! They set a trick? They set a trick. Up, Blinky. Captain, we're trapped in a toad mothership. They've taken my crew for sport. Captain, we must save the crew before. This is where the game gets more interesting in some regards. There's all kinds of traps and like the floors and stuff. Oh, that's right, just tricks. Forgive me. Both have maximum power already. Fix art for rabbits, you're right. But yeah, see that?
Man, I'm doing way better than I expected to be today. This is bad. I might be able to go home early today. I am home. You guys know what I mean. I give it a hydration reminder. Encore game. I was considering the possibility. Even before I started today, I had a random feeling that I might finish so early that I end up having to go for an encore. <laughs> it's funny because I don't consider myself that good at this game. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy to, for me to forget that I'm actually above average for a gamer. above average. Yeah, that time. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll be known for how good I am at games. Wouldn't that be something? By the way, you see all the shots roll like that? You can tell these are fake floors. A lot of ele elevator travel in these last levels. Yeah, basically. I mean, I would put them in jail for being a fake rabbit, too, wouldn't you? Ugh, this part. Yoku blocks. Which I have chosen to ignore. I'm not actually supposed to skip that, I don't think, but... there, of course, is that you skim- <laughs> you simply, um, ignore the momentum of the conveyor belt if you're in the air. 
Sometimes I am so bad with words that I wonder why you guys watch me, but that's okay. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Anyway, you can entirely skip this part, and it's awkward because you have to go here to get Jenny. Happy New Year, Mookie. I'm interested in this. Oh crap. That took a lot of my health. The thing is, they supply you with this little alcove here, and... It pretty much means that... You won't get hit unless you get hit by the lasers. It's a lot easier to do this fight if for some forsaken reason you went the other way first. Thank you for that instigator. How are you doing, by the way? I've lost myself in a hypnotic beam. Also, there's a door on this side, too. I'm okay. I've been coughing a lot lately, but I don't seem to have, like, I, I'm not sick with anything. It's just a cough, like, seasonal, I guess. I've had that issue a lot in life. Anyway, these are worse than Yoku blocks. <laughs> They're directional blocks. Look at this. They're Yoku blocks, but somehow worse. Oops. I largely managed to avoid anything like that, although I am going back first. Last year at Magfest, one of the people in the room I was staying in caught it in the end. Still looking forward to MAGFest, mind you, but... When is next MAGFest? Um... <laughs> Instigator, it's on the 5th. So the trick there is, if you hit a ceiling, Blinky will stop there. So if you hit the ceiling here, you can then move all the way over here safely. Hi, Desa Spark. How you doing? Yeah, that's true, Instigator. 
I don't live near any major cons, I don't think. Nothing really happens in Buffalo. Not, in, not for nerds, anyway. Okay, it would be much safer to go down through the bottom using the same tactics that I mentioned earlier with Blinky. Man, don't I know it. We were snowed in for an exceptionally long time. And it left me quite unhappy. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you're not patient. It was funny, though. Something to remember is that from this point in the game, everything hits like a truck, pretty much. You know, don't get hit. fond of this fight. It's actually difficult unlike Jenny. Unless you get up here. <laughs> like, you wondered why I was doing that, I bet. Yeah, if you get up here, <laughs> this fight is just as harmless as Jenny. <laughs> there we go, Willy. You don't have green skin anymore. Thank you. That eye may be caught at the top. I'd like to work on Jenny's power. I don't need Willy's as much. part. Um... Right, I didn't- why did I jump? Yeah, I was gifted this model. The 
But that's apparently what I got for Christmas. Of course, my normal model is something I made myself. But this one was at least made by an artist, you know? Yeah, it was the same person who brought you Saralet Red. That's with most things. If you're just patient, everything works out in this area. <laughs> this part is bullcrap, though. So my advice is just do this. Jenny. It is a really good game, Instigator. It is legitimately one of my favorite NES games. I should pay attention. I stopped paying attention, that's why I died. What a shame. I know, right? And what's the best way to do this again? Yeah, let's just skip it. Yeah, basically, Canary, but you also lose your uh, health upgrades if you die. Which isn't a huge punishment, because even if you're at a boss fight, you don't really need more than the default amount of health that much. But even so, it is a penalty. Imagine if an elevator had an exit sign, and it... Oh. Oh, I just realized where I am. Crap. Wait a moment, that... doesn't... That's architecturally impossible! But anyway, imagine if an elevator sign had an exit... An elevator had an exit sign, and it was pointing the direction you did not come in from. Yeah, apparently you're supposed to break through those blocks and then <laughs> proceed down through there. Okay, Ikea is a place that you can definitely get lost, so... I've seen elevators with two sets of doors, too, but never one marked exit. Oh, I jumped the gun. So what do you guys think? Am I a strong gamer?
How much can I bench? Um... Well, like, do you mean in 3D mark or in crystal disc mark or... <laughs> Thank you, instigator. I walked a little too far. Okay, captions. No. No captions. No. <laughs> captions do not do that. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely should not ask. <laughs> so embarrassed. Man, it sure would be great if I had Deadeye right now. Life, the life. Not a moment, I'm just checking something. And how do I keep missing the one that's gonna kill me? That's funny. It doesn't do anything until you release it. Noted. My hot take will always be that this game isn't that hard. It's just a game of patience. That's true for a lot of supposedly hard games. This part is a little tricky. Yeah, it does, but dead eyes at the top.
yeah, it is a lot more forgiving in that regard compared to a lot of games of the era. Oh, I feel so dumb. Fuck, he can fire up. How did I forget? It just randomly struck me while I was thinking about it. I haven't used up the entire game because you don't need to until then. I've played this game so many times and I still forget stuff sometimes. of extra spikes for good measure. Like, after a bit, I was just like, wait a minute, what am I forgetting? Yeah, it actually is. Especially because there's pretty much no delay on it. Even though the character sprites are obviously not kept in memory because they couldn't be. There isn't enough space for them. wonder if they're just in different banks. Because bank switching is really fast. And is often used for animation, but it could be used for something like this. The pick for the Deadeye fight is pretty obvious like this, but it's hard to get up there. Like, just touching that eye is pretty much gonna kill you. So, it's probably better to do this fight the conventional way and just jump when shooting. I feel like Bucky is a better bet. Hello, Zelda, how you doing? Because while Willy's charge shot is faster, it keeps you in place. Basically stick to Bucky and just well away from the corner here. And you'll be mostly safe as long as you're patient. Um Okay, game. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, everybody's all right. The fanfare played while he this was still- This is like still... taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. While he was still in his wall climbing, so he couldn't change back until after he got through that part of his pattern and was standing again. <laughs> Captain, what shall we do? We have to escape, Jenny. Now! Well, where are we now? I calculate we are near the core of the magma tanker. Why is there a magma tanker on this spaceship? Let's follow the salvage chute down to the center, then we can blow their tanks. 
Yo, Bucky. Let's ionize Activate the, the slimy volcanic toadies. defense system to shield the base with my lava magma. Disclaimer, it means actual frogs. Check out these enemies, huh? I should probably just ignore them. Yeah, basically all the music in this game is just so good. I don't know, JD, but it would definitely not be the indefatigable. Man, I tripped right over it. Indefatigable. Whatever that is. Okay, so I have to attack at least the first one. Yeah, it's Konami. Like Willie's shots take these things out so fast that I should just use that. Like, you see that? It just vaporizes them. I don't think this is working anymore. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Now I'm dead, I'm dead. I would unironically watch that instigator. I want Bucky to come back so bad. About how far is it? Shots. Is it gonna respawn? Hello, Andy. Yeah, it's gonna respawn. Everyone has full power already. What am I doing? Oh boy, this part.
like that, but I have to go through there. Oh crap. I landed on it as it was closing in. Uh oh. I was like, wait a moment. Like this bit you can't game, but the other parts are pretty quick. <laughs> Hey, Quex. I don't think I've seen you in a minute. How you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. Mostly. I've been coughing a bunch because of this dry cold. Like, I'm not sick. I just cough. Thanks for the hydration reminder. I would say that I caught the cough, but that means something different nowadays. You know what, I'm just gonna go this way. That was much easier. Welcome to Ant High and Hell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> There's something funny about that maximum power charge shot just bouncing off them. At least to me. As with most things, it's all a matter of patience. They hurt. more danger at the bottom of the screen or the top of the screen than the middle. Go figure. Oh, it's the brain slugs. Hi, slugs. Look at this. The only way to kill them is with the spikes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Funny, right? What the? It missed me. Okay, let's let's do zoomies. What was up there? I didn't see what was up there. Oh. Oh! Okay, I'll take that. Hey, bye! That guy just kind of peaced out, huh?
Can't say I blame him with all the brain slugs out here. Bye. Oh, right, this part. But if it's a nightmare, why am I having so much fun? Check me. Take it anyway. That case. Whatever. As tempting as it is to use Blinky's ability here, I think it's the wrong call. I think I need to tap jump. Chill out, game. Ah. <laughs> I press the button a little late. Okay. Definitely, Quax, definitely. It's found it odd that if you walk into the spikes from the side, it still kills you. I don't mind, but it's a little weird, right? Serrated spikes. Spike allergies. I mean, this is a Mega Man alike in some ways, right? Not in terms of actual gameplay, but in terms of like the vibe. Actually, I guess it is in gameplay too. Because you go to the four stages and you beat the bosses and you get the characters. I've always called this game Konami's answer to Mega Man. When I think about it, it makes more sense than I thought. Yeah, Jackie, they definitely exist. Yeah, you are a jump shoot man. Poor woman. that any of them are lemons. I think this is like a mandarin. And this is like an actual laser. And these are like cherries. Really big cherries. This is just a steel ball. Like, look at it. And these are bananas. They're sideways. This one sucks. Look at this. That is all those pixel perfect. Oh man, the dark section.
<laughs> I'm not a fan of this part. Oops. Like, it's a cool idea. The execution is- oh my god. You can't even tell how far you're traveling when the screen scrolls. Like, that's rough, right? And guys, can I just say how relieved I am at the fact that um, rebooting fixed the issue from earlier? I was worried. Yeah, like, I feel that this part would be a lot more reasonable if you could see, um, how far you're traveling in a meaningful way. Like, it's not a bad part, it's just, it could be slightly better and it would make the whole part feel great. Instead of awkward. Look, more of this. That's the thing, right? Like, if this were Mega Man, those would definitely hurt me. Oh no, if I had just not hesitated, I would have gotten in the door. Like, it was right there. Oh god. Okay. I'm just being digested right now. Oh, 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 that's the key. You can just go along the top, right? Is that walkable? It looks like it might. No. Crap. This is normal. The difference is hard mode, everything kills you in one hit.
Oh no! Exactly, Zaka. Isn't that kind of amazing? Like, in a terrible way. Hey, Dual Edge. Oh, crap. Once again, it seems the key is just being brave. Oh boy, this boss. The vulnerable spot is that tiny little thing. So how hard this boss is depends a lot on your ability to specifically shoot it. Or you can do this. Of course, then you'll die if he lowers down again. So you have to kill him really fast. I failed. Than gamer power. Hayaku, Hayaku, Hayaku. Nope, 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 nope. Too slow. I tried. Can't believe they still lie when she was. Hi, Red Dragon. How you doing? Missile hit me, it made me stand up for a split second and made me laser kill me. <laughs> I'm okay, I've had a dry cough though because of the cold weather. Stephanie, thank you for resubscribing. Happy New Year! By the way, let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that Willy is completely useless in this fight. Oh no!
fireworks and ball drops in the game. It's still hard to believe that I've been a VTuber for over a year. It's been a wild year. There were some hard parts to it. Some things that could still be better, but in general, I got to spend this year with you guys, and that's been wonderful. Seems everybody agrees that this is just wily machine free. <laughs> There's something funny about the fact that this fight is easier because of overscan. Oh no! Okay. Good job. We just gotta take this fight bit by bit. It's missing the goofy walk cycle. I mean, that's true. Oh, this run is bad. again. You see, if those missiles hit me, it will make me stand up. And since that laser is an instant kill... <laughs> yeah. That's how these things go. By the way, did you know Bucky can fire straight down and it gives him a slight boost upward into the air? I've always wondered if there's a use in that. It feels super janky when you do it, though, because it, like, makes it instantly boost up. Wait, are you serious right now? <laughs> this is a super risky strategy. The sheer power of it is kind of incredible. I want to see if it's possible to, 
to one cycle the boss like this. Because it feels like it's po it feels like it might be possible. I often see people talk about how you can't speedrun this game. I wonder. So close. Okay, this definitely seems possible. And no Laconic, I don't believe so. I've died as Bucky that way several times, I'm pretty sure. Okay, the problem is... Wait a moment, wait a moment, wait a moment. I've been looking at this the wrong way. Eliminate this first. Like, if I eliminate it quickly with Jenny, I might be able to switch to Bucky, right? Oops. Good luck, Canary. Or what if? <laughs> okay, I deserve that. That was silly me, right? That would be pretty amazing though, right? Okay, old-fashioned way it is. Although that stuff with Jenny is really interesting. I feel like it's possible. Missiles make it so tough. You know what? I'm tempted again, so I'm just gonna do it. Oops. <laughs> Dead Eye works, but he does such low damage that it's almost meaningless. He's kind of a trap. I really want to try switching to Bucky as soon as the thing's destroyed. Although it's kind of tricky. Yeah, that's still not fast enough. Okay. 
old-fashioned way it is. But we learned something. And I feel like there is some way. Like, if you could perfectly position Jenny's second orb... Yeah, that's, that's how I think about it, too. The problem is, getting that second charge at all is pretty rough. like this, those lingering missiles often end up being a big problem. Welcome, I am Sara Lenny, the magical cat girl who plays retro games. And right now we're playing Bucky O'Hare. You were playing Ocarina of Time. I hope that went well, Winter. Bad idea. This was a very bad idea. Hi, Ride Wings. I was gifted this model. I'm using it today. Your special Christmas stream for the wrong holiday. Well, I'm just glad if it went well. Well, don't magical girls often get a new power because somebody gave them something? at an important moment. Everything must be. I'm interested in this. It'll take a very long time if I do it this way. I'm glad I'm a magical girl. Oh crap. It didn't work. Oh, it did work.
That is definitely possible by just two cycling with Jenny if you do it perfectly. Definitely. Judging by how much damage that did. Thanks, Adam. This is the core, Captain. The magma is stored here. We've got to blow this two-bit tinker, guys. <laughs> magma is stored in the core, yes. This stage is really something. Like, for any of you who haven't seen this before, you're gonna see some serious stuff now. Activate the volcanic defense system to shield the base with my lava magma! Street lies. Basically, it's because there's dinosaurs guarding the core. They're called the Dinosaur Empire, and they were here before we were. Oh no. I don't know why I did that. Funny how if you stand still, it'll push you off the platform. Oh, this screen is fun. Huh. That happened. You know, I'm really glad that your glass sound has remained like a mainstay of the stream all these years. Oh crap. Anyway, dead eye. Gotta use dead eye.
Like, it's so obvious after you see me do that, right? Also, note this gratuitous amount of power-ups because there is a chance that you- Thank you so much, Dual Edge, for the gift sub. There is every chance that you wouldn't have powered up your characters by now. And, you know, you're really gonna want those powers. Remember, I hate you! Hey, you! I hate you! Uh, I, I'm just quoting the background. I'm not talking to any of you. I love you guys. Oh boy, it's this part. Understandable. The kind of is an anxiety inducing game. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh boy, this part. Ah. Okay, okay, got it. And you know, if they really wanted an anti-piracy feature, like hard mode, they could have just gotten rid of continue. <laughs> It's for us. And I figure some people still don't know this yet about me. I'm a high school dropout. Technically a middle school dropout. Oh, these guys. Oh, whatever. Whoops. Okay, I was a sick kid, pretty much. A really, really sick kid. So I missed school most of the time because I was sick most of the time. Eventually, I got homeschooled. But... When it comes to homeschooling, they're supposed to tell you when the standardized tests take place so that you can come in and take them. We never got any sort of information on that. We were not told. So, I couldn't take the standard tests. And that had us give up on homeschooling after that. So, I just didn't... I didn't finish school.
Well, it's how I got screwed out of homeschooling after I was too sick to go to school much. It is what it is. I mean, I ended up dropping out basically, and that's fine, because, you know. How did I get into programming? Um. I'm always a little awkward about this one. Furcadia. I got into programming because I was a little kid playing Furcadia. I didn't know what furries were. I didn't know anything about that stuff. I was just playing for the cute animals, but I started making maps for the game. And I thought that making maps in the game was really fun and really cool. So I got into DragonScript, the, the scripting language that they had for the maps. That was the really early days of Arcadia too. Like I was palling around with Feller. <laughs> Cuz you could just you could talk to the creator of the game. He was just there. He was just around. Yeah, I played stuff like that too, but at the time it wasn't very accessible to work on something like that for me. There's also some other stuff like a Grail, G R A A L. Which I was also making maps for. <laughs> Same deal. Then I got really have I got really heavily into RPG Maker, the Super Nintendo version of RPG Maker. This character, this is Blinky the robot. Look up Blinky Bucky O'Hare and you'll see. It'll make way more sense. Honestly, I was doing stuff like that even while I was still in school. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Yes, there was Laconic Shop. A lot of people don't know that, but yes, there was. And I used it really heavily to make a whole bunch of games. As a kid. Winter. <laughs> that is a hilarious coincidence. And yeah, isn't it though? This game has such cool level design in general. I think it started on PC, uh, 98? Corpse Party. The original Corpse Party was a game made for RPG Maker for PC 98. Take it easy, instigator. I guess it may have been the 88, because 
because I know that the one for 98 was called Super Dante or Dante 98. Just like the SNES version is also Super Dante. Anyway, I won't pretend that I know the full history of RPG Maker, but it's interesting. Oh, don't stand there, that's bad. Okay, so the thing is, and what I was going to say earlier, I was using PCs constantly, even outside of school and everything, because, you know, my family taught me a computer of my own. And so I was a little better off than some in that regard, and I had a thirst for knowledge. Yeah, people say that this game is extremely hard, and they're not entirely wrong. But at the same time, they are a little wrong. Okay, this version of the snake part, compared to the ice planet, is easier to control, but very, very difficult. Because there's more gotchas. Okay, please stop dropping. They loop around and they can just they can just eat you. The snakes can eat you. Play monkey. I don't want to become monkey. Not right now. Buffalo, become cat. Would you guys play that? Let's assume for the moment that it would not be made by David Gage. I made a bad joke like that in VR chat once and nobody got it. So I looked like a complete dummy. <laughs> a joke about David Lynch instead of David Cage. Okay, so introducing this boss. I'm not gonna succeed on the first try. And winter, so do I. Box used to ask me to hang out in VR chat almost every night, then eventually she just stopped. But I really miss it. Also, if any of you who don't know who Box is, it's Voxandra and she is one of the coolest people, so go follow her. definitely tricks to this fight, but I'm not using them for some reason. 
Like, these things are constantly bombarding you, but if you can get something off with Jenny, you can take them out pretty quickly. It's just there's so much going on. May actually be the one time that Dead Eye is kind of useful. Ah, oh, that sounds amazing, Winter. I definitely really miss VR chat. I'd like to do more VR chat next year. Oh god. Laser, didn't anyone tell you that laser time is over? Laser time is cancelled. I'm doing this the hard way so badly. It is definitely new. I didn't make it though or even commission it. I was just gifted it. myself get hit by the lasers, get hit by anything but the lasers. This will be easy if I follow that one simple rule. Laser. I was gonna say that I got shooped, but then I was like, wait a second, shoot. Like the very popular and cute streamer, Wagon Shoot? Also, Adam, I don't think that's entirely true. VTubers never grow, you know. They grow their channels. Man, I was going so well until I got shot.
<laughs> See, Wonder, you already understand. Winter is a cool fairy, and you guys should follow her. Certified cool. planning on spinning all the uh... I have a physical copy of the first one and I have the second one on the screen. That'll never work. Blinky isn't that much stronger than Bucky. It's a shame that Willy can't shoot up. Like, that's the one thing that makes him so much worse than Bucky. Boss must be hell on hard mode, though. That is pretty much why I've never attempted hard mode. Okay, I can do this. I've done it plenty of times. And I'm even better at a game at a game. At games than I was before, so fine. I just gotta stop getting hit by the lasers so much. They do way much more damage. Yeah, the thing is my arm is kind of starting to hurt. Bad position. 
Summer Foster. Oh no! Time to start getting uh, bad arms after a couple hours gaming with the mister, and I couldn't tell you why, because like my positioning is the same as it would normally be. Hard to tell, but it's something I'm keeping an eye on lately. There is no input lag, basically. Way less than using a PC emulator. <laughs> Input lag on the Mr. feels very similar to actual hardware. Oh no! What a tough boss. I tend to have trouble with information overload, so... I think that's the main thing making it hard for me is how much is going on. Extra life? Okay. Sure. You know what's funny? There's probably some tech in attacking the glass because it reflects bounces your shots off of them? Nah, it doesn't look like it actually hits anything at that point.
Yeah, but I thought that was enough. It wasn't though. The fact that those explode the way they do is pretty harsh. my health until then. I think because of follow S. Jerry. I think that's how that's been lost. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Jumping into the laser. You're not supposed to jump into the laser. By the laser, and I'm fine. Like, this is pretty much GG as long as I avoid the laser. is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. Hurry up. Let's bust out of here, troops. This thing's about to blow. We're out of here, Captain.
Oh man, I was making that look so easy. Hello, Mixer. How are you doing? I was gifted this. Yeah, it's been pretty good. My arms hurt though. <laughs> I hope I can finish soon. Even though I love spending time with everyone. I forgot about that. The deadly Mario pipes. Nah. Nah. Good, but it's so good though. And the way that switching characters is still important is great. I've never figured out what, if anything, makes it worth using Jenny, like, over Willy. Like, she seems to shoot slower and her shots are probably weaker. I say probably because you really can't tell. Her shots don't even go through or anything. Don't penetrate. So I'm not really sure. But they seem identical to Lily's, except probably weaker. Lily is really useful at this stage, though. His shots are so strong. Out of the air. Okay, game. That's fun. <laughs> Maybe better to just use Bucky here. Not rightly sure. But yeah, chaotic. Maybe. I think 
there's not so much health. Like, it's not particularly hard, but it'll wear you down because it has so much health. Yeah, there goes the high score. <laughs> well, sure, but I'm not playing Pong, I'm playing Arkanoid. don't even get points. Wait. Something gave me points, but those things individually didn't seem to. Ouch! You guys know I'm not easily frustrated, so it's fine. You just might be here a while. Hey, you know, since how you doing? Fast lasers do an awful lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the game. It will be a credit clear. Thanks for hydration reminder. Got one of those cannons. Hmm. 
Uh oh. I can see how it would remind you of Diddy, but that's Deadeye, which, come to think of it, is a very similar name. did it again. And now I have half health. Those hit really hard, what the heck? mistake. Oh well. You live, you learn. You hang on the edge of tomorrow. That's how it goes. Ran into the spikes like a dummy. <laughs> hmm. I just want to check something. Okay.
Man, I always have so much trouble with this last stage. I've never really been able to master it for some reason. Now I'm beating it so the children don't have to. That's how that works, right? That's what Arena would do. part is just kind of, here, take some damage. If you haven't already destroyed the turrets by then, which is extremely hard. The last boss is the air marshal, though. Ah! Okay, that was my fault. Gives me an idea, though. No, you can't you can't damage the turrets during this part. So it's totally pointless to expose yourself to the enemy like that. Whereas using enough effort to destroy at least two turrets would be very worth it. Right, Fornia. How are you? To be fair, the stream hasn't been all that long. It's just that I had some defi technical difficulties at the start. I was having stuttering and I had to read the loop. It was it sucked. Otherwise, the game has gone pretty smoothly, as usual. Couple of rough spots. But it is Bucky. Missed something? What do you mean? Excuse me? <laughs>
You have to ask the person that created the model. I didn't even request it or anything, it was just gifted to me. They called it Cosmic Cat Girl, so that could be the angle. And I still wish that Bit Brigade could perform this game. I would pay so much to see that happen. I don't remember having this much trouble with this part. I remember having a lot of trouble with the air marshal, though. Powers sounds about right. Definitely be cut down a bit if somebody really knows the game well, but the odds of that are pretty low for a first playthrough, obviously. This game is infamously considered extremely hard, but the continue system is extremely generous, as are the checkpoints. I wish I had the full health meter though. Oh crap, I missed the health power up because I was talking about that. The air marshal part has always been the really hard part. He's a tough nut. Because he's nuts and he's tough. Ouch. Also, that was rude of him just now. You have a point, Grr. You have a point.
really misses the part I have so much trouble with. What? <laughs> what the heck? Bucky O'Hare and his bold crew disabled the Toad Mothership and escaped with their lives. The righteous indignation proudly flies again. The Toad Menace will not be stopped with one victory. The fight will go on. If only they had made a sequel. Bucky O'Hare and his crew won't rest until the Anniverse is free! Let's croak us some toads! Staff crew! Hawaii. Yes, I know it's H-O-Y, but <laughs> come on, it's... You're asking for my thoughts on a game that I already said I love. The game has parts that are a little overtuned. In general, every part of the game has some trick to it that makes it exceptionally easy. If you just pay attention. Like, in general, the trick to beating the game efficiently is patience. But... Broadly, like... All of the bosses have tricks to them that you can beat them in just a couple seconds if you're really smart about it, aside from like the last two. And if you beat the if you beat the planets in the right order, especially the early game gets really easy. Of course, playing the game in hard mode would be I don't want to think about hard mode. But to be fair, hard mode was an anti-piracy feature that they simply made into a password as well, I think, so... Yeah, hard mode would be pretty reasonable until the last non-shmup stage, at which point... <laughs> good luck. And even the shmup part is mostly manageable in hard mode, I would say, thinking about it. But the battleship part would be especially tough. Yeah, that's the thing, Gnosis. There is an anti-piracy feature, and it forces the game into the hard mode. And hard mode is one hit, kill uh, one hit kills. You die in one hit, always. In general, though, the game is highly about actually understanding the abilities of your characters. Well, for Nea, that's definitely not the case, but there are some egregious one-hit kills.
Yeah, I wouldn't personally recommend it, though, because you're more likely to get hit than not. Overall, though, you know, there's so it's many tricks to do. time! Using the right character in the right situation makes everything so much easier. Like, you can use Bucky to jump up in various parts where Deadeye would be more efficient because of the way he can climb walls. Granted, Blinky's jetpack just kind of breaks everything wide open a lot of the time. What a shame. The end. Yes, Jackie, it does. And before that, it adds an enormous amount of extra enemies to the what game. What a rotten way to die. <laughs> So oh, that was that was Bucky O'Hare. If anybody didn't know the game already, I hope you enjoyed the stream. That was pure skill. It is almost nine thirty on the East Coast, but I am going to end the stream. Everything must be exactly. My arms are starting to hurt, so I definitely feel like it's for the best that I call it. But, um, happy Mew Year, everyone. Happy Mew Year. So. Anyway, you guys know the deal. We're gonna go raid a friend of mine. And I just, once again, like, this is the last day of the year. I want to thank you all so much for your immense support. It really means the world to me how much you guys have supported me. I didn't expect that becoming a VTuber would be so great, even though I always wanted to. And I'm just so happy, you know? with how it's all been, with how this year's been. My goal is to meet the requirements to become a Twitch partner within the next year. And I think that that's achievable. I mean, look how many people are here. <laughs> all I have to do is start averaging 75 viewers, which is pretty high, but... It seems very achievable in a year. Very achievable. I will be shocked if I do not reach partner next year. For the time being, though, I will say all to one of my lovely friends and bid you a wonderful night. And I hope that the new year is a great one for all of you. You guys are the best. This community is the best. Reminder that we have a Discord, and it is so chill there. We love it. We all, everyone who's there loves it. Anyway, good night, everyone. Good night.